In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your announcement bar, how to customize it, I should say. So I'm going to show you how to increase the text size, how to make it bold. I'm going to show you how to add an image to the background if you want to do that, and also how to change the arrows, the carrots, in the end of your announcement bar if you have an announcement bar that scrolls. So I'm going to be using the Dawn version 14. If you haven't updated your Dawn and you're using it, the last couple of months, Shopify has released lots and lots of great features. So I highly suggest for you to update your theme. But in any case, you're going to need this video to go ahead and customize it anyway, even if you update your theme. OK, so again, we're going to be using Dawn version 14. But this uh, code that we're going to use today can be used in any of the free Shopify themes. I've tested them and I've also tested them on the older version version seven. So on the older versions of Dawn, these codes will work as well. OK, so let's jump into the video and let's get started. Now, before I do that, actually, I wanted to just show, I think so. I just bought because of these glasses, I need glasses. I'm like blind as a bat and the reflection on the light. So I'm still working. See that I'm still working on my lighting in here in the this office, but with the glasses, even if I have the anti reflective, you can still obviously see all the lighting. So I purchased this little thing. You see the difference from Amazon. So I put it right over my iPhone. So I record using my iPhone. Um, so hopefully this makes a difference and you don't see as much a reflection of the light in my glasses. But anyway, so I'm super excited to use this, see how it turns out. You can also make these adjustments here. So we'll see how this all works out. I'll leave a description down below if you want to invest in this. It's a, a small investment. It wasn't expensive at all, but I'll leave it in the description down below. All right, now let's get into the video. OK, so let's jump in to our dashboard and I'm going to use the newest Shopify Dawn version, which is version 14 right here. So I'm, let's go ahead and customize that one. And you'll see that the code, I already have the code, but we're going to start from scratch so that we have something to look at while we're building our custom announcement bar. If you have the newer version, like uh, 14, and I believe it started in 12, I think, but now you're able to have more than one announcement bar, which is pretty awesome when you, there's a lot of information that you want to give out. But we're going to go ahead and use this as the second announcement bar so that we can have something to reference to. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and add another announcement bar here. So this is what you will see when you're starting from scratch. And so here, let's go over some of the features before we start customizing it. OK. So here we have our color scheme and our color scheme. These are the color schemes that I already have based on the colors that I use for my brand. So I have several different variations here set up and how you create your color scheme is right over here where we go into the colors. And this is where the color schemes are located. And if you want to create more, this is where you would add a color scheme right here. OK, so that is where that is at. So let's go back to the announcement bar. So we're just going to go ahead and just leave it the white because we actually want the white letters. OK, we're going to add an image to it. So we're just going to leave it with the white font. OK, now as we go here, you have an option here for now to show the separator. Now, because my colors are dark, you might not be able to see that, see any separations. So um, you, if you have a lighter colors, you might be able to see that it's a slight uh, line that you'll catch there. All right. Now here are the social media icons. So we're going to go ahead and add those social media icons right here. And then as far as the announcement bar. So what we'll do here is that auto rotate announcement. We're going to have that set because we're going to add several announcement bars up here. So we're going to go ahead and just set it up from the very beginning. We're going to have it to auto rotate. And I also want this to be at the very least amount, which is three seconds. OK, so you can go from three seconds all the way up to 10 seconds. So I want to go ahead and leave it up to three because I want uh, customers when they land on the website to see that there's more than one announcement bar and they'll see it. if it takes too long. If you set it maybe for five seconds or more, you know, people like to scroll. So they might just see the first one and then start scrolling and might not see 
the other announcement bars that you have up there. So I like three. You can set it however uh, speed that you want for yours. All right, if you have a country selector, then go ahead and select these here. We're going to go ahead and leave those alone for now. All right, so now for this first announcement bar. So now that the announcement bar as a whole is set, we have all of the settings that we want. Now we're going to go into each announcement to go ahead and change that. All right, so as we see here, the first one that we want for it to say is that we want it to say that is a store-wide sale. All right, and then what is it? Today only, and it's going to be, let's see here, 50% off, right? I think that's what I said, 50% off, right? So that is my the first announcement bar. And if you want to add a link to this announcement bar, you can certainly do so. Um, let's say if you want to send them maybe to your shipping uh, policy or anything like that, you can certainly do that from here. Okay, so these are all the options that you have that you can link information to, all right? So that is going to be my first one. So let's go ahead and save that. Now I wanna add a second one. So how do you add another one? You just click the plus sign to add another announcement. And on that second one is, what is it? The new, new coffee blends. All right, let's just leave it at that and let's go ahead and save. Okay. So what kind of customizations you want to make here um, is what we're going to go through now. Right. So because as when we go back to here, you see that we're not able to change the the font style. So maybe you want it bold, you want to italicize it, something like that. Um, you want that to be bigger, the font size to be bigger. There's no way for you to be able to make those customizations in Shopify. Right. If we go over, head over to our settings here, you'll see that the topography is just site wide. Right is not for specific elements so that is why we're watching this video right so i'm going to show you how to customize the font here in your announcement okay so the first code that i'm going to show you you're going to head down we're going to go back to the announcement bar so you want to be in the the announcement bar selection here not in the actual announcement okay so what we'll do is we'll click on the announcement bar here and then you're going to come down to where it says custom CSS. OK, so that is the section we want to be. This is where the magic happens. And this is where we're able to make customizations to our site and see it right away as we make those changes. OK, so the first code that I want to show you today, you're going to find all of the codes in a link in the description down below somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and start off the code here. And as you can see right away, you'll see that now my font is not only bigger, but it's also bold. OK, so let me walk you through this code so that you can customize it for yourself here. So the first line of code here is the color. So this I have it set to white, but you can change this obviously to whatever color is for your uh, specific brand. So you here you'll find your hex color or if you have colors like white, red, blue, you can enter that color here. But for the most part, to, sit, to be consistent with your branding, I would say use your hex color. So that's going to be the color of the, the font here. And then the font size. So I have it set to 18. If you like the font just the way that it is, you can always just remove that. It'll bring it right back to the default font size. But I'm going to go ahead and I want that to be big. I want it to stand out. And then the font weight, you can also keep this or you can just remove it. So this is going to be bold. So I want the font to be bold, right? So you can change that in bold, you can italicize it, okay? So you have some flexibility there on what font weight you want to use. Um, also here, what I'll do as well is that I want some spacing be in the padding between the font and the border. So for that, what you'll do here is that I'm going to add some padding. So I'm just going to add a padding of, let me try a 10, uh, 20 pixel. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Let's preview this and see what the front end of our site looks like. And there is that. Okay. Now, remember that if you want to change the way that this looks, let's say you want the other background color for that, just change it from here. So if you want the green, right, that is perfectly fine. And then all you have to use is this code for the actual font, just the way we've been, we've been using it. Okay. But if you change your mind and you want this font to be a different color, remember that it will never. Let's say I want it to be green. It's not going to make the background beige. 
and the font green because this code here is overriding the color scheme okay so if you ever want to change it just remember if you're changing it from here know that it's not going to reflect your color scheme here because you're overriding it here in the custom css okay all right so let's go ahead and leave it black and there we have it now the other customization that you might want to make is to change the color of the arrows so these are called carrots so you might not want it at all just like i have up here which i it's not showing or maybe you want to leave it alone obviously you can leave it just like that or you might want to change the color of those arrows okay so if you want to go ahead and change it the code for that will be this one right here so i have it to display none and as you can see they disappeared right so it's just the slider going back and forth okay now if you want to change it and you want a different color you can certainly do that so what you'll do here instead of display you replace the display with color so let's go ahead and add color here and then in none let's say something that stands out let's do a yellow so there you can see that that is yellow probably you can't see it that well let's try red okay there we go all right so if you want to change the color of it that's how you can change the color of that carrot or you can just remove it my preference is not to show it so i'm just going to go ahead and leave it as display none that's the second customization that you can make and then the third one that i want to show you is how to add an image to the background should you want to do that all right so again we're going to copy this code right here okay so this is going to be the first step and what we're going to do is we're going to replace where it says image url with the image url for your image okay so this is how we're going to do that we're going to go ahead and save that you're going to get an error code and that's okay because it's saying that this is not a correct url okay but i'm going to go ahead and save it so that i lose my spot and then we're going to head over to our dashboard here and we're going to come into the content and then we're going to files okay then here we're going to upload the image that we want to use for the background so i'm going to go ahead and load this image here all right, and while that is loading here, I want to give you two tips on images on your website. The first one is that you want to name your images before you upload them to your website. So here we have the organic coffee beans and the name of the store. And the reason I have it for organic coffee beans is because your images are searchable in Google. And so the organic coffee bean is the keyword that I want my shop to be known for when people are searching for organic coffee. So you want to use those keywords in this image here and so this image if we click on it you'll see that it is coffee beans is the the image so i want to add it and say organic coffee beans for food therapy the name of the store okay so that's tip number one and then tip number two is that when you're adding text on top of an image you want to make sure that there's enough contrast between the color of your text and the color of your image. As you can see here, this image is a darker image. So the white text that I have will be a perfect contrast between each other. And that is just for accessibility purposes. You don't want people to have to kind of squint to be able to read the text that is on your website. Okay, so those are the two things that I want you to keep in mind when you're uploading images and how you're using your images. Okay, now that the image is uploaded, we're gonna go ahead and click the link. So this link here is the actual URL for this link on your website. So that's what this is going to create. Okay. So now we're going to head back over to our announcement bar and you're going to, if this lets you, you're going to click right here. You're going to remove the image URL and you're going to paste now the URL for your image. And as you can see right away, it updated and made that image the background. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then the other additional lines of code here is completely optional. You can remove it, you can leave it. Um, so what the background repeat does is that if case the image that you're using is small and you don't want it to repeat because it's going to repeat to fill up that space. So if you don't want that, you can leave it with the no repeat. And then the background size is cover because I want the image to cover the full section there in my announcement bar okay so if you want to see what effects this will have you can just simply remove it and you can see how things kind of move around okay 
So all of these lines of codes, again, you can customize it. You can remove some of the lines. Um, you can change it completely customizable. Those are the customizations that I have for you today. If you need anything else, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to create those videos for you. If you want to change up your menu, navigation menu, and make all the, the navigation uppercase, lowercase, or a mix of both for mobile and for desktop, check out this video next where I show you how to do just that. Okay, until next time, my friend. Adios.